Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about how I clean my shoes, the process that I use, and what I do to prepare them for pictures. So let's check it out. Okay, so before you get started, you're going to want a few things ready to go. Uh, I've got my box of supplies here. I've got just a little um, a barrier here. It's just an old dirty towel uh, they used for utility purposes. And then you want to be wearing clothes that you don't mind getting dirty because you're going to get a little dirty whenever you're polishing shoes. From the dirt that you're wiping off to getting polish on your hands and probably on your clothes a little bit. Um, it's just a little bit of a dirty task, so you know you don't want to get your good clothes dirty. <laughs> so one of the first things you want <clears throat> you want to start out with, I'm going to throw this down here, <clears throat> is you got your shoes ready to go. Usually I'm doing a bunch at a time, but for the video's purposes, I'm just showing you these shoes. Um, so what you want to do is take off all of the uh, shoelaces. So I'm just going to go through real quick and take all these out. Okay, all of the laces are off, all two of them. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you kind of have your damp rag here and a bristle brush. The bristle brush is for the bottom. Um, this is I usually take off the tags here. <clears throat> always, always peeling tags, I swear. It's half the job. Okay, so then I'll just take the bristle brush and start just wiping down. We're already getting off a lot of dirt. Um, yeah, just start wiping down the soles until you're satisfied. Okay, those look good. And I'll, kind of, I'll show you before and after here. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, that's what they look like after. It just knocks off a lot of the big chunks. I'm really not too worried about the bottoms. I just don't want them to look disastrous for photos. Um, so now we're going to just wipe down both of the shoes. <clears throat> Try to get off as much dirt as you can. <clears throat> okay, so once you're finished with the upper, you want to move on to the soles. And usually that involves just getting your finger over this ridge line here and then along the sides. Okay, so now you just want to sit them down, let them dry. Uh, usually it takes about five or ten minutes for them to go back to the way they were. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, and I'm back here. Uh, I, let, I just let these sit and dry, probably was 10 or 15 minutes. Um, while these were drying, I went and cleaned my other shoes. Uh, I do it a lot like an assembly line. I just kind of go down the row doing one thing at a time. So all my other shoes are clean now, uh, or at least wiped down. Some of them, uh, a couple of them, I'll polish. Others are good to go as is, um, which is what I prefer. Whenever you're buying shoes, Get the ones that are in good condition. The more time you spend cleaning it, the more money you're wasting because time is money. I just got this uh, brown kiwi shoe polish. You get a cotton rag. This is just um, a cut up shirt, an old shirt that I had. Just get a little bit on there. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. And these have a little bit of a lighter thread around here. So you want to be careful not to get the polish on the thread. If you do, it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, I've done it before. So yeah, just start wiping it on. I just go in really light circles here. So we got a good, uh, good portion of the shoe with polish on it. And now we just want to use this bristle brush here. Uh, well, it's not really bristle, it's a uh, horse hair, I believe. So this, you just want to get some short, fast strokes. Uh, that'll bring out shine 
and get the scuffs out uh, the best. And so let's just do it. Okay, here is a side-by-side uh, -side comparison. Uh, the shoe that's sitting on the right has been completed. You can see how shiny it is c compared to the other. Uh, and you can see the shoe that's on the left looks a lot more dry and just not as well as taken care of. So you can see how polishing up your shoes can be a high selling point. Uh, they, they'll look a lot better in comparison to some other people who don't polish their shoes. Okay guys, so here is the finished product here. Um, as you can see, I've put the laces back on and I'll show you what I usually do with them. I lace them up in a way that makes the laces uh, come through and, and finish on the back there and then I tie a little figure eight knot well, that just ended up being an overhand knot but um, and then I tuck it back underneath the tongue and I make it really presentable for pictures um, so that's what I do there these shoes are now good to go I can take photos of them and list them on eBay okay guys I really want to emphasize that I don't polish all of my shoes I only polish some of them. Uh, the ones that are going to be higher end or they would bring me like 50 bucks or so but maybe they have a, a lot of scuffs on them or scratches or something like that. You know they could just use a little bit of work. So this was just showing you step by step how I clean my shoes. I do it as much as an assembly line as I can. I feel like it gets a lot of work done in a lot less time. Hopefully you took away some useful information and you can apply it to the things that you like to do. Um, the way I polish my shoes is just what I like to do. There's a bunch of different ways. You can use a, a brush to apply the polish. You can um, sit there and kind of dip it in water and really try to get a uh, mirror finish. I'm just not into putting that much time into the shoes. I feel like this is just a quick fix to really make them presentable and the buyers will get a shoe that is used but is in a lot better condition than what they would be able to get in a thrift store themselves or at a garage sale or anything along that nature. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good night.